quick revision video for the hydrolysis of condensation polymers. So we'll just start with the definition for hydrolysis. It's the chemical breakdown of a substance by reaction with water. Condensation polymers can be hydrolyzed by hot aqueous acid. You must reference the aqueous and hot aqueous alkali. So starting with the acid hydrolysis of polyesters, as you can see here we've got the ester bond that's joining the two monomers together. This would have been a dicarboxylic acid. This would have been a diol. So H2O from the aqueous acid is going to break that ester bond and basically the diol will be reformed and the dicarboxylic acid would be reformed. So the OH from the water is going there and there. The H from the water is going there and there. So moving on to polyamides, so here is the amide bond that is joining the monomers together. This would have been a diamine and this would have been a dicarboxylic acid. So for this one, similar thing happens, we break the amide bond now and we get the original diamine and dicarboxylic acid monomers. But for this you've got to bear in mind you've got H plus ions present they're going to be accepted by the nitrogens on the diamine so you're actually going to get that for the diamine so we'll get the salt so moving on to alkaline hydrolysis now and i'm just going to use the same polyester and polyamide as before so we've got aqueous sodium hydroxide so the water is going to break that ester bond and it's going to give us the original monomers back but this time we've got to bear in mind we've got an alkali present and it can react with the dicarboxylic acid. It can remove the proton, accept the proton, and form the salt. And likewise for the polyamide, we'll break that bond. So the water does that. We get the original diamine and dicarboxylic acid back. But again, we've got to bear in mind that we've got sodium hydroxide present which can take the H plus off the carboxylic acid or dicarboxylic acid and form the salt. So no matter how complicated your polyester or polyamide is, you do exactly the same. You break the sort of bond that's joining them together, form the original monomers, and then ask yourself, can the sort of conditions, can the acid or alkaline conditions react with any of those products and basically just do what we've just done there? So we'll just finish by putting that into practice on this past exam question. So we're given a um, section of fibroin, which is from silk. And we've got to draw the products formed when fibroin is hydrolyzed by hydrochloric acid. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So this is obviously a polyamide, so we're going to break all the amide bonds. So you can see I've got them broken now with those red dotted lines. So remember what we said, this part here is going to turn into an NH2 group, and this part here is going to turn into a COOH group. And that's going to happen on all of these, but we've got to bear in mind what type of hydrolysis it is. It's acid hydrolysis but it actually specifies the acid. So there's kind of an extra twist in this one. So this and this will form that. This one here, this one here, and this one here. are all gonna form that one. And this one here with that larger R group is gonna form that. 